historic, a U.S. president being tried in a case that would essentially, I mean, do, uh, this would change everything. Should Americans be privy to the election interference trial for former President Trump? His attorneys filing a request to have his federal election interference trial televised. Now, earlier this month, special counsel Jack Smith's team did ask a judge not to allow cameras in the courtroom, pointing to a federal rule already banning them. But now the defense is arguing, quote, every person in America and beyond should have the opportunity to study this case firsthand. News Nation political contributor and attorney Chris Hahn with me right now. So they changed uh, their opinion about this, joining the likes of the AP, the Associated Press, and other news outlets that were actually pushing for this case to be televised, saying, you know, this is a, a, a U.S. president being tried in federal court. Do they have a point? Yeah, I think they do. And I think that the American people have a right to see what's going on, not only in this case, but in all the cases, the document case, his civil trials, the American people should have a eyewitness account of what is going on in that courtroom. Because quite frankly, what you hear from Trump's a lot of spin. In court, you don't really get spin. You get facts backed up by evidence. And I would love to see how it go plays out in real time. I think the American people will benefit from it. You know, one thing I've been saying, Adrian, and, and I think you'll agree with this, I've traveled this country, and I meet a lot of people who disagree with me, but one thing they almost all have in common is that they are nice people. They are not rude. <laughs> I think that the antics that Donald Trump has been pulling off in court here in New York show that he is not a nice person, and he is incredibly rude. And I think the American people seeing that, look, elections are resolved on the margins. And only a few people have to swing in either direction to swing the election. And I think that his behavior will account for a lot of that. So when you said that a lot of people in this country, what I would agree with is that most everyone in this country is nice at their core. I really do yes. believe that. They're sober-minded. Yes. They're reasonable. Uh, they're appalled at what's happened in our nation. But I do believe that, especially based on polling, and, and we can talk about how accurate those are, Half of people think that he's rude, or maybe 60 plus percent think that he's rude. The other percentage think that he has been treated unfairly by the justice system, that there's a double standard, mm -hmm. and that he has a right to be a little bit combative when he's being attacked politically. With that being said, Cor go ahead. Correct. But here's <laughs> the thing. I don't need I don't need to move 40 percent of Americans. I need to move one percent of Americans in Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona. Right. It, the elections are one on the margins. You, you don't have have to have everybody migrate and say, oh, Trump's been treated as fairly. You have to have one percent say, you know what, that guy's too rude to be president. I don't want to watch him on my TV screen for another four years. Well, and, and, I, quite and, frankly, I, and I think the more people see him, the more yeah. that happens. Well, and so so you believe that televising uh, this trial and the other trials would actually do what he's saying, which uh, this weekend in New Hampshire at a presidential campaign of and he said the prosecution wishes to continue this travesty, speaking about the trial, in darkness. <laughs> And I want sunlight. You would say that sunlight would be to expose the heart of this man who you do not believe should be president again. Yes, I think sunlight is the great disinfectant. I would like to see his attorney file the same motion in the, in the documents case, which they have so far not done, because he is dead to rights in that case. And he's done some shady things like asking his maid to move boxes of classified materials. The very reason the man was elected president to the, in the first place is because he successfully prosecuted a case against his opponent that she was unfit to handle classified materials. And yet he did something far worse. I, I would love to see that case televised. And I'm waiting for the former president to see the, the, the benefits in that for him. I have a feeling he won't, and I have a feeling he'll fight any motion to make that case televised. Well, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.